When my daughter finally came to my wife and I and asked us, is there really an Easter Bunny? We felt it was time we told her the truth. But we also told her, your brother still believes. Don't tell him, keep the lie. Let him believe until he's ready and I will tell him the truth. Isn't that how we treat our Christianity? When we come across friends and neighbors and family and co-workers and we start the conversation and we don't think they're ready to hear it or they believe in something else and we just don't want to get into an argument with them. So we'll say, when they're ready, I will share the truth with them. In the lunchroom at work, we're having this conversation and this woman that claims to confess to be a Christian, as we're having this conversation, she turns not to offend anyone, goes, well, at the end of it all, we are all God's children. Is there any harm in saying that? Because she's letting everyone believe that regardless of what I believe, I'm still a child of God. And then I had a choice to make. Do I either keep my mouth shut or do I actually say, well, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible actually says we are all God's creation, but only those who come in the faith and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and call upon his name and believe in his salvation, believe in his life, death, and resurrection, have the right to be called his children. Do you see the difference of telling the truth or allowing someone to believe a lie? Someone is going to go to a destination believing they're heading somewhere else because we will not allow ourselves to open this mouth. You may be saying, what's the difference if we believe a little version of the truth? Well, it's probably about the same. You may lose family. You may lose friends, but never stay silent, my Christian brothers and sisters. Someone's soul may be at stake. May God bless you and keep you always.